Hello everyone. In module 7, we turned our attention to the application of ethical theory to our organizations and discussed the implications from doing so. One of the resources that we used to assess ethics in our setting was a tool from the Association of Fraud Examiners, which was a series of yes and no questions designed to give one a baseline of which to proceed. Two sections that we focused on were the communication and the anonymous reporting areas. The communication domain deals primarily with the organizational culture around ethics and the general state of awareness about the need for and understanding of ethics in the workplace. Questions involved those around employees understanding what is permissible and what is not codes of ethics, and ensuring new employees are trained to act ethically. Anonymous reporting questions centered on ensuring that those who would report an ethical violation were not personally identifiable. Furthermore, one question on the anonymous section ensured that the hotline was both available at all times and that there is the ability to report in one's native language. While this checklist is just one example of questions to consider regarding ethics in the workplace, other documents such as a code of ethics that employees receive and many times sign as well as training materials, classes and videos regarding ethics is commonplace. Universities, um, and in our case, places of adult learning, have generally done well with the teaching of ethics, especially as they related to disciplines such as law, medicine, or business. At the same time, it is professional ethics or behaving professionally that we are interested in, and having a tool or checklist is a good start. As you might have seen in the modules, I have placed a really good resource there for you. It's the link to an organization called the Center for Ethical Leadership. Remember that while we're talking about ethical issues in adult learning, the bigger context and question in the back of our minds is always, what does this all mean for me as a leader? In some educational circles, there are whole departments uh, dedicated to leadership and ethics. All this to say that you can't have one without the other. And I hope that uh, the time we are spending on this help underscore that fact. Next week, we'll continue to use this tool and discuss other areas on the checklist, creating an ethical culture and investigations. Uh, what does it mean to have a culture of ethics and how do you achieve that? On the other side, what happens when an ethical situation arises and what procedures, if any, uh, exist to ensure that investigation is fair and gets to the root of any issue? What about ensuring the protections of those that see or mention the ethical violation? Well, these and other questions will be at the center of our discussion, and so I look forward to our time together. For now, and as I always say, let's finish up anything we need to talk about on the discussion threads and have a good weekend. I will see you online.